before we can understand how classical mechanics and quantum mechanics can come together, representing one universal process, we need to understand the difference between the two. The main difference can be represented by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, and this diagram explains this very clearly. The essential difference between classical and quantum mechanics is expressed concisely in the Heisenberg uncertainty relationship. A classical point can have its momentum and position represented by a point in position momentum space. This space is called particle space. Click inside the graph. The coordinates give position and momentum simultaneously for a classical particle. A ball bounces back and forth between two blocks. Note that we can find the position and the momentum at any time on the trajectory in particle space. A quantum particle is quite different. In order to see a quantum particle, we have to zoom down to quantum dimensions. We see that a classical point is no longer a point at quantum dimensions, but has finite size. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle states that the minimum size of this is Planck's constant divided by 4 pi. The units of momentum times position are joule seconds. This finite size means that there is an inherent fundamental error when we attempt to simultaneously measure position and momentum. This error is due to the interference of wave properties of particles, which means that in quantum measurements there is a fundamental error we can never overcome. We could measure the position of a quantum particle very accurately, but we would lose all knowledge about the particle's momentum. We could measure the momentum of a quantum particle very accurately, but we would lose all knowledge about its position. Because a particle has wave motion, when we measure its position and momentum, we have either a localized position wave with a corresponding delocalized momentum wave, or vice versa. All the other paradoxes and differences with classical mechanics are relative to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. I will place links throughout this video that explain them. As we have just seen, Newton's classical mechanics is very beautiful. With it we can calculate the motion of the planets. This gives us the ability to predict where a planet will be at any future date. But there is uncertainty in classical mechanics because at any future date we could have a large object come into the reference frame of a planet and distort its orbit. This uncertainty is innate to all aspects of classical mechanics. We can set up an experiment in classical mechanics and within the isolated reference frame of the experiment, we can predict the outcome every time. This is because the experiment is based on the laws of physics and may have been done many times before. But there will always be the uncertainty that something outside the isolated reference frame of the experiment will distort the outcome. For the nature of the universe is not based on isolated reference frames. It is based on an interactive process that can be represented at the smallest scale by the mathematics of quantum mechanics in the form of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. At the end of this video I will place links 
to videos explaining experiments that support this idea. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.